Good morning. My name is Danielle Griffith. I'm the program director at the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund, and I'm here with Dr. Barry Jacobs to talk about a support group that we're having free for all on supporting through tough times, promoting positive care giving. Good morning, Dr. Jacobs. How are you? Uh, very well. Good morning, Danielle. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. <clears throat> we're excited to have you come and speak, um, you and your wife. Would you like to tell us a little bit about the presentation? Uh, sure. Uh, so my wife, uh, Julia Mayer, uh, who, like myself, is a psychologist uh, in Philadelphia, and we specialize in family caregiving, uh, we're, we're really looking forward to joining the virtual support group on Thursday, October 22nd at 7, uh, to talk with family members a little bit about what it's like to be a family caregiver, especially during these tough times. And what we mean by those these tough times are dealing with COVID, uh, dealing with the uh, increased social isolation that COVID has caused, dealing with the decreased services that, that COVID has caused, um, and dealing with um, a whole you know host of issues uh, that come up. So you know among the other issues uh, uh, that that come up is is dealing with family members and professionals. I mean this is a perennial issue for family caregivers, uh, but I think it's it's even tougher during COVID. Uh, family members are, are can be helpful, can can sometimes not be helpful. Sometimes they can have very strong opinions about the way things should be done, and, and they could uh, pressure us to do things a certain way. And so we're going to provide some strategies for how to how to uh, engage those family members in, in helping us, but but really uh, having them be respectful of, of our decision making uh, as parents uh, for, for children with with uh, with special needs. Um, the, the other topic that my wife, uh, Julie, and I are going to be talking about is, uh, is, is the whole topic of how we can strengthen our marriages during these tough times. It is very tough to be a, a, a spouse who's also a caregiver for a child, um, and uh, that, that takes its toll on marriage. But then again, especially during uh, this pandemic, all the, the stressors are, are, are more pronounced uh, marriages are under enormous strain, especially because spouses are in the house together all day long, sometimes getting on each other's nerves. And so we're going to provide some specific ideas for how, how spouses can better communicate, how they can better make decisions, how they can not get on each other's nerves, and in, in fact, how they, how they can really uh, strengthen their relationships uh, in order to have a better marriage as they go through these tough times, uh, rather than have their marriages weakened by, by all, everything they're going through. So as you know, I have a special needs child myself, and we are home with her. Um, my husband and I are home with her um, every day, homeschooling. And we just got the um, news that she probably won't go back till January. So we could really use some help on how to get through it because we thought it was November. Um, so we're excited. You um, and Julie have written two books on these topics. Um, so for people who sign up, we are going to send out, uh, it's free of charge, and you just have to email me, and we will send you out a coping box so that you can, a comfort box, sorry, so that you can give it to the kids and try to pay attention as best you can. Um, Dr. Jacobs, do you have a tip, a tip for our families? Uh, absolutely. It's uh, for uh all of us, caregivers or not, uh, out there. And, and, and that is, I, I start with the premise that many of us uh, really want to do a good job with our families every day um, and want to do a good job balancing our work with our family lives. And we hold ourselves to very high expectations and that sometimes we beat ourselves up when we can't meet those expectations. So my tip for everyone today is that now is not the time to hold ourselves to our usual high expectations. We need to be good to ourselves and accept that muddling through may be the best we can do now. And muddling through really is good enough. Uh, and my whole point here is it's tough enough to do all the things that we're doing under these current conditions. No one needs to rub salt in their own wounds by criticizing themselves. We should accept that we're all doing the best that we can and that the best that we can is probably good enough. We don't need to be perfect about this. We just need to do the best that we can. That's right. That's right. The best is all we can do, right? So yes. we are teaming up with Ryan's Case for Smiles um, to, give, to promote positive caregiving. 
So if you'd like to register, it's free of charge. It's open to everybody, families, health professionals, anybody who thinks um, they could use a little, pick me up. So you can email me, uh, the information's on the screen and we hope to see everybody there. Dr. Jacobs, thank you so much. We're really looking forward to seeing you and your wife. Uh, thank you, Danielle. We're really looking forward to it as well. We're looking forward to meeting all of you to join us and to talk about your family situations. And we'll have time to really uh, talk about your specific situations. Um, it won't just be all presentation. It's going to be more of a conversation. So Perfect. look forward to it. That's great. Thank you so much.